Today we are going to look at the shoulder bridge exercise out of the Pilates mat work. Now, I highly suggest to get the spacing right of the knees that you grab a small ball. If you've got kids, you probably have a billion of them. If you don't have one next time you're in the grocery store, they usually have them. And it has a little bit of squish. And you can put that between your knees and align your toes up under your knees. And that's a good width. You could also use a deflated soccer ball, but something to give you a good traction of hips in line with knees in line with toes. And you give a little squeeze. The feet keep an even press down through the heels and the balls of the feet. Now a lot of you know this exercise is simply just hips up, hips down, which lift your hips. And if that's all you think about, you'll get this splaying in the ribs and you're dumping the weight back into your neck versus using the weight across your upper back. If you have neck issues or shoulder issues, this is a dangerous place to be. You also notice her hip flexors here have a little crease and fold in them. That is because she's not actually stretching out using her extensors, her glutes and hamstrings instead, and therefore her hip flexors are grabbing back. And she's got this hinge in her mid-back. So this is not where you want to be. You'll get some leg work, but chances are one of your hamstrings is going to cramp, or your foot is going to cramp, or your low back is going to scream at you. Come down. In the Pilates work, instead of it just being up and down and up and down, you want to feel an articulation of the spine up, arriving in an elongation through the hips, and then an articulation sequentially down, coming back to your neutral spine. Okay. So, to do that, you have to find the glute and the hamstring work, curl the tail, which will pull the belly button to your spine. I like to say you can't ever start or finish in a tuck, but you can move through one. Now, then the next bone comes up and the next bone. This challenge is finding a stopping place where the weight is still across the arms and across the upper back not dumped down into your neck. And then you can see she's got a more open waist and she actually has this lengthening going through. And I will cue her to squeeze the ball and keep pushing the ball out as she keeps the ab work exhaling and pulling back. And then on the way down, hips are the first thing up so they are the last thing down. She needs to pull the upper abs together and bring each bone down drop the ball. Okay. She's going to do it again without the ball only because I'm here. If your ball fell out, go get it. Come back. All right. Scooping up. Inhale as you come up to help fill up the upper back. Exhaling, abs tying together. Right? And the reason she wants to pull her knees apart and therefore she dropped the ball is because her outer hips and her IT bands are a little bit stronger than her inner thighs. And they want to pull apart. The inner thighs, albeit are not squeezed together, have a tracking into parallel stance roll down. Good. One other prop you can use is your TheraBand, which she has hers here. Underneath of you, you're going to give a pulling apart as you stand down on the arms. So that as you come up, you can really play with the timing when the torso has to articulate on the shoulder, right there, but it doesn't splay and pop up to that place <laughs> that I don't like. You could also then do little pulses pulling apart to really activate more of the back of the arm and the shoulder girdle. Because, you know, who doesn't want more work? And then it can also help bring you down, knowing where you really keep the hips up, bring the rib cage down and together. Good. You could also take the band above you and keep it above you, which is going to make it harder because you don't have the stability of your arms down on the mat. Let's try one of those. Uh -huh. <laughs> Making sure your wrists don't do something funky when you're pulling. They are a joint as well. Curry up and a little bit higher one last time. And she could pulse here, but we've done that. What about lifting the arms up without it splaying the ribs? Inner thighs out through the second toe. What if she brought the bar back down? The band back down and reach up because yes you could do this with a weighted bar as well eventually this exercise involves lifting one leg at a time and goes into and has a kick involved with it more on that later that is how you effectively do a shoulder bridge 
articulating through your spine and articulating on the way down to get all that glute hammy work that you know you want and that you know that we all need. But you should feel the stretch of the front of the legs as well.